You know what? He's already eaten a deck of cards this morning. He's a world champion magician, Sean Farquhar, next to me here. What have you done with your wife? Well, you know, uh, everybody says, uh, what's the name of your better half? Well, uh, Lori's a little beside herself this morning, as you can see. Um, <laughs> before she has her morning coffee, things are a little different. Uh, uh, look, uh, can you wave your toes for them and wave and say good morning to everybody? I'll just, uh, I'll just pull her over and uh, put her back together. That should be cool. Let me just uh, close those up so that she's comfortable in there. Did you want out? I can let you out. Awesome. <laughs> she's in one piece. Thank goodness. Okay. How do you feel, Lori? Right? Feel all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. She's got coffee. She's a lot better. Like pulling herself together. You you specialize in close-up magic. We're going to see do. some tricks in a second, but I just want to talk about some of the shows you're doing right now. The majority of your work is overseas, correct? It is. Uh, Asia and Europe is pretty much my market. Not a lot here in Canada. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to do a lot more shows in Canada. I recently did a, a bunch for a bank here, which was really great across Canada, but uh, there doesn't seem to be the same interest. Uh, I seem to have a, a lot of momentum in uh, other places, but Canadians, I think, uh, cheer on people once they leave Canada. Okay. Seems to be a normal thing. Okay, now watch this, and Brian can come up close, yeah. because like I say, he specializes in close-up magic. He's considered by many to be the best sleight of hand magician in the little. world. Okay, here we go. Card trick. Uh, Greg, why don't you pick a card out, anyone you want to, look at the card, make sure it's the Ace of Spades, and let the viewers see it, but don't let me know. Okay. I'm sorry, you the Ace of Spades? Yes. That's weird, there's a lot of choices. Uh, why don't you take a different one, since I knew what that one was. Anyone you want to, take a look at the card and remember it. You like the Ace of Spades? Uh, yes. Did you get that again? Do me a favor, write your name right on the face of the card, so there's no other card like okay. it in the entire world. Oh, that's very go. cool. It's a very special card. Look, Usually I, I charge money for my signature. If I put no, it back okay. into the deck like this and I snap my fingers, I can make it jump back to the top. So I'm going to do this a little bit different. I'll take your card and I'll put it here, safe and out of the way. Hold out your hand just like that. Place your other hand on top, trapping the two together. I'll hold that for you. Yeah. I take your card, the ace of spades, and I just wave it over top and I make it disappear. Wait, I can do better. I'll reach in between your hands. I'll remove one card. It'll be your card. Yep, the ace of spades. Wait, I'll do better. Now I'm going to make the rest of the cards disappear. Did you feel them go? What? Yeah, it's just a block of glass. You see that, Michelle? <laughs> it's my job. Oh my. Okay, magicians what and just clowns happened? scare me. That's scary, Greg. He's not scary, though. What just happened? Well, doesn't that freak you out a little? A little bit. <laughs> I don't even I know what deck, to say to I had you. a deck of cards in my hand. Did you want to shuffle them? <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I can shuffle these. Look at this. How good would that be if you could shuffle those? That'd be amazing. Okay. Yeah, but I have extra cards. Yeah, okay. there's more coming up, Michelle. This guy is absolutely amazing. All right, cannot wait. Oh, freaky. Wow. All right. 7.18 on a Tuesday morning. Time to check in with Greg Harper and see what's uh, coming out of his ear. Oh, interesting. Losing I, his marbles. I, I am trying to follow this guy, but it's very difficult to do. I can't do it. Sean Farquhar is his name. He's a world champion magician, considered by many to be the best sleight of hand magician in the world, and I can see why. Sean, oh, okay. Hi, very nice. You stuff my connect jersey. I'm good, thank you. Um, before you do uh, some more tricks here, sure. Uh, who are your, your mentors? Do you have any? Oh, tons of them, but probably the biggest is a Canadian magician by the name of Doug Henning. Uh, Doug was a huge inspiration. In fact, probably two of the greatest magicians that ever lived in my eyes was Doug Henning and the guy by the name of Di Vernon, the professor of magic. And in fact, most magicians will tell you the greatest magician who ever lived was Di Vernon. And so between the two of them, uh, both Canadians, uh, they're, they're my big mentors. I remember watching Doug Henning on The Muppet Show. Do you really? Yes, I remember. as, as a 10-year-old. When yes, he chopped the guy up and moved him around, and then The Muppet came out with the head down by his knees and everything. I remember that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what do, you, what do you got for I us I got here? a new catalog of card tricks. I got a choice of playing cards. This is kind of cool. If I just kind of snap like that, I can actually take, like, one off. Uh, I like the red deck. Want to see a magic trick with a deck of cards? Okay. <laughs> that was kind of bizarre, huh? That's, yeah. Look, uh, it's a regular... Everything's bizarre here this morning. It's my job. It's a regular deck of cards. It, it, the type you'd buy at Costco, not the ones you get at a normal magic shop. Uh, right. Do me a favor. Reach in and select the card of your choice. Let the viewers see the card, but don't let me see the card. Anyone at all. Uh, you like that one? Let everybody see it. Place it back in anywhere you'd like to into the deck. Awesome. Look, if I were to go through these cards trying to find it, it takes a long time. So I'll just use the top one, the uh, Jack of Diamonds. When I snap, it turns into the card. Is that your card? Yes. I'll do it slower so you can watch. Watch. Remember the card. It's going to go right here into the very center. That's about the center. Just a little snap like that, and it'll jump back to the top. 
I'll do it face up so you can actually watch it. Watch right here. You can see the ace of spades is near the center. It's not here on the top. Oh, sorry, it's still on the top. I'll put it back in the middle. <laughs> so that's somewhere near the center of the deck. Now it's lost, but if I do this really slow, just like that, doesn't it look like it jumps back? I'll do it the last time really close. Watch very close, Greg. Don't miss this one. The ace of spades, the card you selected from all these different ones. Just uh, push it right in so it goes right into the deck. It's great. Now watch as it jumps to my teeth. My teeth, Greg, I tell you. <laughs> Am I losing it this <laughs> it's, morning, it's Thor my... and Kyle? Is it, what's, what's happening here? I don't it's really know team. what's happening, Greg. This it's an illusion. This is amazing. This is bizarre. Uh, uh, take a look at a card. Maybe the viewers can so, see one card as I go real, through. Real quick here, yeah. Everybody see the card? Uh, hopefully they saw a card out of all these cards. One single card. I had it on the tip of my tongue but this is better over here. A whole fan of cards coming out of my knee, and the very top one, I'll bet this isn't their card. But if the viewers are looking really close, I can change it into the card they were all looking at. Was that the card that you guys picked? Yes. What is going on? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. This guy's amazing. We got more stuff coming up, including his daughter, Hannah. She'll be doing a trick next. Looking forward yeah. to that. Thanks, Greg. We'll all check right. back with you guys in just a time in just a second. Time now for uh, entertainment news. Hey, uh, good morning, Kyle. I'm still trying to figure out how he cut his wife in half. I just I'm still stumped. I'm hanging out with Sean Farquhar and his family. He's a world champion magician. His daughter is Hannah. Here she is. Good morning, Hannah. Morning. First off, I want to ask you this. You're going to you're going to show us the trick in a second, but what's it like to have a dad as a magician? Well, it's always um, unexpected because we always go to different places, and I usually never know where we're going next, when they tell me. Does he fool you all the time with all these tricks? Yeah. What do kids say when you say what your dad does? They just say, cool, and then they, sometimes they, they used to always run up to him and go, can, we do, can you do a trick? They used to do that all the time. So do you want to be a magician when you grow up? Uh-huh. You do? Mm -hmm. Let's see a trick. What's this called? Well, it's not really a trick. It's my training method. Okay. It's a training method. All right. Since my dad's is into magicians, we need to have big imagination. So, all our coloring books come empty. Yes. So, yeah. The whole book empty. There's nothing in there. All we have to do is imagine pictures from circuses and shows. Could you imagine some pictures from a circus? Yes. Okay, there we go. And all these pretty... Whoa! All these pictures. Wow! That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the monkey ring trick and um, bunnies. Thank you, and Hannah. And floating. Oh, oh, dear. This one's colored. Oh, very nice. Well, I'm we should let the others be colored, too. I'm going to talk to your dad now, okay? You got me stumped there, <laughs> just like your dad does. Hannah's cool. pretty good with imagination, isn't she? She is. Yeah. <laughs> What's the biggest challenge? being a magician. Uh, now it's not, you know, creating new effects or ideas. Now it's pretty much getting recognition in my own country. That's the biggest challenge. Uh, I was just awarded the Canadian Magician of the Year uh, in Kitchener, Ontario by the Canadian Association of Magicians. And yet, you know, it doesn't get picked up by a lot of people. So I really appreciate you coming out and giving me a little bit of focus time oh. so that I can, you know, uh, head towards my goals of opening my own theater here in Canada. We appreciate it as well. There's a real fast tricker coming up, Michelle. Watch this. Check this out. I'll, uh, I'll just use uh, my drawing pad and I'll uh, draw a really quick picture for you. I'm not much of an artist, Greg. Uh, check this out, Michelle. It's a, it's a ball. Not impressed. Michelle's scared of you, by the way. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> yeah, she bit. is. Is she one of those people that's afraid of clowns and magicians? Yes! yes. Yeah. Uh, you know, cannibals are afraid of clowns, too. Oh. Do you know why? They don't eat them because they taste funny. <laughs> they taste, look, it's a bowling ball. Bowling it's kind of cool. Check this out. You might want a full frame. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, wow. That's kind of bizarre, isn't it? And it's wow. gone. It's my job. Holy <laughs> smokes. Very cool. Okay. Okay. Sean's prediction, who's going to win the Canucks Blackhawks series with a trick. That's coming up next. Okay, can't wait. I got to kind of adjust after that last one.